Next up, we said the presidential candidate uh, talk was over, but I do want to focus on Ron Paul's announcement, making it official today. Uh, he obviously was at the debate in South Carolina, and he gets a lot of attention. Charles? When you watch him, he has this irresistible oddball charm. Uh, but And he's an important figure because libertarianism is a, a very important strain in our politics and our history, but he's not a serious presidential candidate because libertarianism is not a governing ideology. He wants to abolish uh, the Federal Reserve, FEMA. He's against the, the killing of Osama bin Laden for reasons I'm not sure I understand of international law. He's got these kind of kooky ideas which you cannot have in a president. Emails to Charles. Karen. Well, it is It is as much as, as Ron Paul does have a very enthusiastic following, it is hard to imagine somebody winning a Republican primary who is against the war in Afghanistan and who is for the legalization of heroin. Although, Tucker, he will say that a lot of the things he's been talking about since the 70s, people are now talking about more. Well, and, in, and in fact, some of his warnings turned out to be true, I would say. And, it, and it's further true that Ron Paul and the strain of libertarianism he represents has greatly influenced the Republican Party, in fact, in mainstream America. I would say, unfortunately, as someone who's sympathetic to a lot of the ideas he espouses, it's completely unhelpful when he says things, as he did the other day, like, we should have consulted Pakistan before killing Osama bin Laden. I think that discredits him as, as a political figure, and, and I say that with, with sadness.